Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, and it's the middle of January 2022, and I want to talk about a troublesome problem that we had last year that seems to be continuing on this year, and that is the cost of building a home. Now, you know, we've had a supply and demand issue, which, you know, supply and demand also dictates how prices go up. If there's much more demand than supply and you're getting multiple bids on homes, well, that's gonna raise the price. But the other thing that's been raising the price is the cost of building materials and the cost of labor. So for instance, in building materials, uh, we saw a monstrous uh, run up of the price of lumber. Uh, and then we started to see it subside again. But again, because of the demand, we're starting to see it go up again. So for instance, in January this year, of two, uh, or January of 2022, our builder said that for a 1,726 square foot home, the lumber pack to build the framing just went up $9,800. So in other words, you're gonna be paying $9,800 more for that home. Uh, now other materials have also increased and there's a labor shortage. Uh, we know there's a labor shortage throughout the United States in almost all categories. But if you have markets like Oklahoma City and Tulsa where you have a powerful commercial market going on, in other words, they're building warehouses, they're building hotels, they're building offices, they're building um, mini storage facilities. I mean, everything that you can possibly do, both in retail and, you know, and industrial then you also have a demand for labor. And then the ramp up in new construction because of the demand on homes means that a builder has to pay more. In other words, they can't just go, well, you know, uh, let's negotiate this price. No, these people have options. And so that is causing prices to go up also. So, you know, if you're going to be buying a home in 2022, it's going to be at a higher price. Now, that being said, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, is the market gonna go down? in price. In other words, if interest rates are going up, will the prices go down? And the answer is no, they're not going to be going down. Uh, it would take a monstrous recession in order to do that, and we don't see that on the horizon. What we could possibly see, and I hope that we see, is a little bit of a slowdown uh, in the increase in prices, because we don't want that affordability index to be taxed too much. In other words, we still want to have the most affordable market of over a million people that you can buy. And right now, the Oklahoma City and the Tulsa market, about number four in the country for metro areas, over a million. And so that's very, very important that we have that level of affordability for you. But you can expect some higher prices on homes, but here's also the good news. We also had last year about a 12% increase in rental price. Now, with the economy going strong in Oklahoma, with population growth going, with the job market being so powerful, more people coming into the cities, then what we also have is that greater demand. And again, with supply and demand, we have rental appreciation. And that is still going strong in 2022. We expect that 12%, maybe it won't be as high this year, but it's going to maintain the level that we need to go along with the price increases that we have in homes. As long as that happens, the return on investment for you is still going to be very, very strong. And with the increase in appreciation that we have, we're still maintaining that high level of annualized return for you. So despite these prices going up, we are seeing rental prices going up. We still have incredible low rates. And so it is still a market that's very powerful and very attractive for the real estate investor.